Okay, everyone, uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about uh, Bluetooth and how you can put it on the Lubuntu or Ubuntu desktop, pretty much on any on any PC. But this is a, this is the operating system that uh, we're going to be discussing today. And you can also uh, click a link down below, and I'll also show you some other Bluetooth techniques that you can use. Um, this is the Lubuntu desktop right here. And uh, if you are looking to get into Linux or anything of that nature and you want something that doesn't use up a whole lot of resources, I definitely recommend this desktop. It's fantastic. I use it. It works great. This is the 32-bit version of it. Um, I don't know why you would need any more than that, but if you're running a slower machine, definitely uh, get this. Okay, so if you have a PC and you want to uh, hook up Bluetooth to it, like a Bluetooth speaker, um, the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you have you have to uh, have a command line to uh, install that Bluetooth. Not not very much a big deal. It's actually very simple to do, and I'll show you where to go to do that. And I will also also put the link in the description so you can click on it, and make it a lot easier for you to find it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to if you're if it's not working at all, then you may not have it set up correctly or set up at all. It took me a while to finally figure that out, and I finally did. So what you want to do is go to this website here, and there's probably plenty of them out there that you can go to that will that will show you. You can just type in uh, Bluetooth command line for Linux, Lubuntu, or Ubuntu. It'll take you it'll take you there. But as you go through, it's going to give you the install commands uh, right here. You want to go through the entire thing, follow it all the way through, because the actual installation is going to be this one right here: sudo apt-get install blueman and then it will install it okay so I'll definitely uh, give you the link for that you can go over over to it it should work fine once you get it all set up I don't think you'll have any issues with that because that's exactly what I did with Lubuntu alright and the next thing you want to do if your computer does not have Bluetooth if it's not Bluetooth uh, compatible already or capable already then what you're going to want to get is what's called a Bluetooth dongle right here and there's there's a lot of different varieties and flavors of that Okay, and so this is just an example. It plugs right into the USB port. I have one. That's what I use because I use an older machine. A lot of your newer machines may have them. So if you have a new machine that has Bluetooth, don't get this. You don't need it. All right, there's no point in it. All right, now, <clears throat> so knowing that, so let's say that hypothetically you have uh, the command line, everything's installed, everything's good. So under Lubuntu, what I'm going to do is go under Preferences, and then there's the Bluetooth Manager right here. Okay, this is what I have installed uh, under Bluetooth. These are two speakers. One's the UE Boom, and one's the JBL Flip. Now, I already have these installed, but I'm going to go ahead and delete them out. Um, I'm going to remove them because I want to install them again. I want to show you how to do it. Um, so it's not really difficult to do, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with the uh, JBL Flip. I really like the speaker, by the way. It's really great. As you can see here, I'm powering it up right now. Um, so what's going to happen is, well, my cat just walked in. Uh, what's going to happen here is I'm going to go over here to Bluetooth down here at the bottom and click on that. This is going to show everything that you need to do to set up the device. So you're going to go under Set Up New Device. All right. And you're going to go to this screen right here. Now, what I'm going to do is hold down the Bluetooth button on my speaker. I know you can't see me doing that, but I'm actually going to hold that down until you hear a noise. Okay, and you, if you can hear that, it's making a noise right now. That means it's ready to pair. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And then it's, going to, it's searching for the device. I'm searching for it now. I hit the little search icon right there. <clears throat> So it should bring up JBL Flip 3, and there it is. All right, and now it's going to, let's see here, I'm going to click on that and then go to Next. Now it's going to pair it. We want to pair it. And we want to go with Audio Sync. I prefer that. That's what you want to use anyway. Okay, it connected successfully. Now we want to hit Close. Okay, now certain um, speakers are going to be a little different. And what I mean by that is, um, when you go under Devices, there it is right there. So I should be already connected, but on this particular device, uh, sometimes you have to go under Audio Profile, 
and see where it's right here where it says high fidelity playback you want to make sure if you're using a speaker that that's checked not headset uh, head unit or whatever or off you want to make sure that high fidelity is is there so I'm connected I'm paired it'll give you all the information right here you can see it's receiving and sending um, there's no point in playing it because you're not going to really get anything out of it but if you uh, if you decide to go uh, Bluetooth speaker I recommend it uh, wireless way is always the best way in my opinion um, and also it sounds great better than your monitor speakers or anything like that they sound fantastic so without that or with all that there you go if you have uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment or anything down there at the bottom and I will answer them thank you guys